All right. Well, we broke it uh, pretty fast. So what we're going to do is weld this back. We're going to grind all this nice and smooth and put a bead around it. And then we're going to do a gusset here and a gusset back this way to strengthen this. Then we're going to plate, like we're going to trim out a piece of plate to weld down this arm, weld right here, you know, so it'll be a good, good brace as well. So we're going to push that Panhard bar mount down. I'm going to put a couple tacks on it and then we uh, can put our gussets on. Then we're going to see if it'll pull the Tahoe. Who knows? Might break something. Hopefully not. Oh, oh, oh. Can you cut that on the bend saw? Be careful, don't cut yourself. This stuff is like insanely thin, this tubing is. No wonder it broke. Now I can make a new Panhard bar with heim joints in here. It'd be a simple setup to make. Use half inch heim joints in there. So we must have not ever tightened this. And that's why she was kicking out of gear when we was on our way from home snorting. So what do you think about it? It's awesome. Yeah, it's good. Well-built machine. It's good. 
Oh yeah, that mule, and that was a fairly, that was a week's worth of work or so. Yeah. Actually less than that because I had to stop and edit a few videos, but uh, she's nice. We got some wrench for sale, 10 cents a pail. <laughs> oh come on man spitting on camera why That's why would you do that get this camera out of my face <laughs> like paparazzi uh so braxton uh we heard that you pitched crappy in the first <laughs> baseball game uh and you broke up with delilah what's the problem <laughs> Kill my kids. <laughs> she gets she gets more confidence. More, more kids. <laughs> the more kids that's in there, she gets uh, crazier. Well, she gets in that mom mentality, like she has to get to school to a uh, certain program at a certain time. I didn't think there. Did you think any play was in it? Ah, uh, leave it to a woman to <laughs> gripe about this beautiful vehicle that I have built for her. Um, it does need tie rod links on the front. We're gonna put all new bushings on everything, uh, which isn't much. I mean, it's really just a front setup, but I like it a lot. I think it's a great vehicle, great hoon snorter. We're gonna add some half doors to it very soon. We're gonna weld a piece of tube from here and make it bolt on down there so you can still take the roll cage off. Success. Uh, I'm sure we'll have that on. Oh yeah, she's gonna be fun at Winrock. We'll clean it up in the meantime, put some decals on it, and uh, make it look all fancy pants. So we're gonna see if the mule. I think traction's gonna be the issue, but we're gonna see if it has enough power to pull the Tahoe. Woo! <laughs> that was pretty sweet it pulled it really good i mean we're on flat ground but gravel i'd say if we was on asphalt it's uphill. what it's uphill it's not flat and there's gravel that was pretty impressive the mule just uh look how dusty your car is now <laughs> Well, guys, let us know what you think of the mule. She's uh, pretty stout. I like it a lot. We do want to flip that diff, though, and uh, make forward right because 11 to 1 be much better than that uh, running in that 14 to 1 reverse gear. We topped out, and we wasn't filming the phone, but we topped out at like 27 mile per hour with all three of us in it on flat ground. So, uh, and that's probably, uh, I can't remember what RPMs that was at, but uh, that isn't bad. The way this thing's geared off road, this thing's a monster. You can climb anything. It's got a ton of power. You saw how easy uh, Lonnie and Braxton was sitting inside the Tahoe. They popped it down in neutral, and then I would pull them up the driveway. Handled it perfectly fine, so 
Make sure to go check out all the links in the description of all the parts we put on this. We got the tires and wheels from Go Power Sports, the performance parts from Go Power Sports, and then of course we put that sweet uh, 440 Duramax, and it's got that 275 lift cam and a billet rod and the uh, flat slide Makuni from Go Power Sports on it. So uh, make sure to go check out those parts. Those parts turn that Duramax into a torque monster, I tell you. She is pretty nice. We could have went with the Marine Cam, which would have gave us even more torque, but we wanted a little bit of higher RPMs out of it, and we will be doing a 18 amp charging system on that Duramax very soon so we can power all of our light bars and keep our battery replenished. But uh, make sure to check out those links. Also, if you go to Generator Factory Outlet, you can use our discount code RBG to get 10% off or 20% off all of the uh, Duramax products on there. So you can get an 18 horse a generator, pressure washer, anything for 20% off. So make sure that code is uh, expiring on May 31st. May 31st, I believe. So uh, make sure to use that code in the meantime and uh, go and go Power Sports and support the, the channels that you like, guys. This project is really fun. Remember that gas tank too is a custom built gas tank from Brad Hill. His email is always in our descriptions of our videos. Uh, you can check that out because the gas tank was rusted completely out and go to offroadledbars.com. Use the discount code RBG10 to get 10% off. We use their four inch pods on front and rear and then their 30 inch lot bar. And uh, we'll be doing a night ride soon to show you how good uh, this thing will light up the wood. So. Thank you guys. Let us know any opinions you have or any uh, concerns about this mule. Let us know what you think. We love you guys and God bless.